hello guys so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this simple and easy 3d map animation using a free vector map and uh camera all inside of after effects so this map is free i downloaded it from freepix.com and i'll be uploading it in the description if you want to use it so without wasting much time let's get into it so inside of after effects i'm quickly going to import our map here import it as a composition and layer size then double click on it to open it up as uh, on our timeline so the first thing we need to do is um, make sure you turn on you click on this icon here to to turn on continuous rasterization so that the map is always clear then i also make this first two labels this country and this label i'll make them 3d then copy the both of them and recomp first of all i need to extend this map this to let's say like 10 seconds our animation will just be like maybe 10 seconds or so so I extend it to 10 seconds, copy this first two, then pre-comb them. Once they are pre comp I'll also do the same thing here. Make this, click on this icon here, then make this 3D. I'll ignore our marker here for now, we'll work on that later. So the next thing we need to do is, I'm going to bring in our camera. So I'm, it's going to be a two-node camera, then 35mm, then leave the rest of the settings. We'll, we'll change that later. So once you bring that in, I'll go down to my transform tool for the for my pre-com then go down to the s rotation then i'll make this let's say minus 59 let's see first oh it's going to be minus 59 but the first thing we need to do is i'll need to zoom i'll need to move my camera inside the i'm going to press p on my keyboard then zoom in okay we'll change this to two view and i'll make this view from the from the top from the top is okay so i'm going to click on my camera here then move it in upwards. and the map we are going to be it's going to be around iran so i'm just going to set center this around around iran then move it a bit closer like this i think this is okay this is okay then i'm going to go back to my pre -com, then the s rotation i'm going to make it minus 59 so if you've watched to this point, please consider subscribing to our channel. And so the next thing we, we are going to do is I'm going to realign this because this is a two node camera. If you're new to After Effects, this might be new to you. But in a camera system, we have one node and two nodes. So the, the major difference is that in the two node, we have a focus point or a point of interest. And you can see that in our, a point of interest in our, in our transform tool. So we're going to realign that. So this point of interest now, what it really does is that Wherever this point of interest is, no matter how you rotate your camera, it's always going to be pointing at your point of interest. So we're going to make our point of interest and stay on Iran so that when we rotate, it will always look at Iran. So to do that, I'm just going to use my this point of interest to here. So I'm just going to bring this down. I'm just going to make sure it's down to Iran here. You can move it to this side if you want. So this is okay right here. So after that, the other thing we need to do is we're going to make the rest of our background blur. Let me move this to the side. We don't need all these parts again. So we're going to make the rest of our background blur. So what we need to do, we'll go down to camera option, turn on depth of field. And once you turn it on, you can see from here that some part of our of our map is most of the parts are blurry. So what we need to do is that we need to bring down the focus distance so our map our camera is focused on around iran just this region here so to do that i'm just going to bring this down to let's say i need to type this in i'm going to bring it down to maybe like 310 and from here you can see that our it's a bit it's much clearer around iran so i'm going to turn up my aperture to 298 to so around 290 295 is okay then i'm going to bring down the blur level to around 25 around 25 now you can see that parts like russia and where the camera is closer is blurry but iran and other places around it are a bit i would have said let me let's turn on this i don't know maybe you can make it decagon so it's a bit round but it's fine like this so the next thing we're going to do is click on your position parameter here then go maybe like five seconds or so five or four seconds i'll just do five seconds 
approximately. Then I'm going to move this a bit to the side. So once you're satisfied with what you have, and I'm also going to maybe create another keyframe and it's another keyframe. Just zoom in a bit. Then once you've done that, highlight both of the keyframe and make them easy ease by clicking F9. Then another thing you notice that we have a point here. I'm going to select this buzzy handles and just make them kind of round. Just this curve animation here. I make this like this. So I'm just going to quickly play this back for you to see. So now you can see that we have this fine rotating animation. But the problem is that we have this kind of black. This the background showing behind there. So what I'm going to just going to do is that I'm just going to go down to the last to our keyframe here. Then zoom in our camera so that camera gets closer. And I'll preview this again. So here is our result. So the next thing we need to do is our marker here that we initially turned on. We're going to turn it on then make it 3D. Then I'm going to go down to the parameters here. So I'll make this scale around maybe 47. Then bring this up a bit. I'm just going to move this so that it fits on top of our map where we want it to be. That's essentially what I want to do here. So once you have it on top of the, your map where you the particular location you want it to be, I'm going to parent this to our pre-comp so it animates once our map is going round. And then after that, we need to make it bounce as if it's bouncing. So I'm just going to set a keyframe at our position here. Go like one second forward. Go like one second forward. Then use this third keyframe to move it up a bit. Then go to two seconds. Then I'll just copy this keyframe here. And by Ctrl C, I'm using a PC. Then press Ctrl V to paste it back. So this keyframe are the same. Then highlight all of them and click f9 on your keyboard to make them easy is and that's not all you press alt and this keyframe icon here and we'll bring in our loop we'll type in a, a simple expression here loop out so that it's, it's animates throughout our keyframe here so i'm just going to play this back quickly so this is what we have and you can make further changes to this depending on what you want. So the final thing, the final thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create, I'm going to create an adjustment layer on top of everything. Make that 3D, which is not necessary. Then I'm going to add a vignette animation. So this plugin I have here is VS Console. If you don't know it, it's, it's a free, free plugin from Video Copilot. So I'm just going to add vignettes. So instead of searching in effects and presets tab, I just it's easier here. I'm just going to add that to our animation here and make sure it aligns with what we have. 